Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of our hardcore Minecraft series. In today's episode, we will be looking at uh, probably getting some villagers to this uh, area, I believe is my next plan. Because I do want to start getting mending onto my uh, items here. We do need to make a few adjustments to our um, mob spawner, but f and first of all, I need to get a pickaxe that has silk touch. So let me just go make a pickaxe and I'll be back in a moment. Alrighty, let's quickly enchant a diamond pickaxe. Um, what do we have silk touch, awesome. That's what we really wanted here. Um, I'm breaking two, I'm breaking one, you know. Silk touch. Oh, is that, that, that's literally the same sword. Oh, pickaxe, I mean. Damn, awesome. Okay, that's really good news. Um, so with that, we can now uh, make the improvements to our um, mob spawner that I want to make. So I will probably cut and show you guys what I'm going to collect and then we will Make the adjustments I want to the mob spawner. we are back. Alrighty, now that we're back home. Um, that took me a while. Turns out I think it looks like that. Um, either it was another island or it was the end of like a lake or something. Because it kind of latched all around here. So we're all on the same island then. Um, once we you know, get maps and I can really show it. Um... Get rid of those, get rid of that, get rid of that. All right, we should be good to go again. Not that I'd expect us to find anything, but we're going to go directly south this time. Um, I think, I think they're kind of north to south, how the world layout is, like in the sense of, you know, the more north you go, the more south you go, you kind of end up at like, you know, the poles. Because I think the worlds are generated like as if they're like real life human earth, if that makes sense. Um, but I'm not quite sure. But if we find anything, I will be sure to show you guys. Ooh, okay. Uh, this looks like something. I don't know what... Oh, okay. It's, it's a village. All right. That's not too far from our base then. About 500, 600 blocks from our house then. Take this. Take this while we're at it. Kind of armor stand, so they're cool. It's a network, we don't want that. Uh, oh, there was a chest there. This guy's a farmer. A bad trade. Kinda want the carrot and the um and the other one. You. Fletcher. That's not bad either. Hopefully we do get infinity though, so we shouldn't need it. Damn, a lot of stuff here. And two emeralds for free. Oh wow, okay. Um, <laughs> did not expect it to be here, but my world gen might be broken. I've got a swamp biome, which I'd normally consider quite a warm biome, and then literally like, <laughs> not even a thousand blocks is... <laughs> Frozen biome, which I don't. What blocks are these? Are these blue ice or are they packed ice? Okay, and then that's regular ice. Awesome. This is what I was looking for. So my goal here is let's just pull out the silk touch pickaxe here and mine up as much as we can. Because yeah, as you can see, about two thousand blocks away. I nearly gave up. I was waiting for the next bit of land. Um. And saw a swamp and was like, ah, oh, okay, I might finish here and turn back. And then sure enough, there was, yeah, ice, which is good. Um, so we got, yeah, a fair bit of packed ice. Just going to break as much as this is possible because stuff's massively valuable to me. Because we can make blue ice with this as well, which I think is really fast on a boat or something like that. I also believe packed ice can't be melted from like a light source. Might affect us here, but other times it might. Let's just clear out this one. And we'll save a screenshot. That's what I do with a lot of plants. 
So I had to do it with a village there, I just realized. I'll probably see it on the way back there. Very nice having this really fast pickaxe. I think this is only sharpness four as well, so a sharpness efficiency four. I don't think you can get it any higher. Yeah, it's only four. You can get it five, but that requires a book, I think. Yeah, I'm surprised you can jump in this water. To be honest, it's so cold. Like there's ice right here, so theoretically. Yeah, I think my world's broken. That's deep ocean. My god. Well, there are the fish. That's kind of creepy. I'm surprised they don't add like sharks or something in this. Alright, I think that should be enough ice. This is only packed ice though, isn't it? Yeah, that's good. That's alright. Packed ice is fine. So what we'll do is take a screenshot, because that's what I do. And now I think it's north, we're going to head back. And once we get back home, I will see you guys there and we can make the improvements to our uh, mob spawner. So be right back. Alrighty, now we just returned back to our base. Um, what are we going to do? We're going to probably put away a bunch of this ice now. We don't need all of it. Um, probably do want to turn it into some blue ice though. Is that like this? We probably only want like six, I think. That should be fine. Um, why that? Oh, cause it's not a chest. <laughs> That's a chest stopped working then. Uh, where do I want to put this? Uh, let's just put it in here for now. And we'll come back to it later. Let's try and clear our inventory a little bit. So, that, that, that. Two blast furnaces. We can just put these away for now, I think. Oh, I can't put them away, actually. Uh, granite we can put away. Book. I'll right, we'll put the book over near the chest. Potatoes, bread. Emeralds go over here. Armor stands can just be put in this miscellaneous box. It's kind of becoming. Um, food, there's some seeds here. Alright, and... Put this pickaxe back. All right, so now that we have blue ice, um, what I'm planning on doing is just fixing up our mob spawner a little bit because I don't know if, I think I showed in the last video, they start to get caught um, and not get pushed through as easy. I think because they're swimming against the ice. Um, so my plan is if I just run down here real quick. Um, I don't know how easily this works, if it even does work. So it's kind of... What's the word? Proof of concept right now. But when they do get stuck, they get stuck right there. So what I want to do is put down this blue, uh, yeah, blue ice. And hopefully yeah, they'll push through faster and we don't get them caught. Um, only problem is i got to somehow get down there. So let's just start working on that. Yep, let's just put that there for now. Don't think we're low enough. Oh crap, that was a mistake. Okay. Now that we're here. Let's torch down here. It's our little maintenance tunnel, I guess. Hopefully, the signs just appeared up here. As you can see, um, these are actually stairs here. It's just a stair there. It makes it look like a regular block. Just kind of neat. Do we get a sign? No. My oh, God. What have I done? All right. Now that they're all stuck. Oh, 
Ah, uh, I think I found the guy with Maybe that wasn't the sign. Oh yeah, I did get the sign. It, whoa, I was drowning in that. That's a bit weird. I don't know why my word didn't just come out then. <laughs> okay, so we need to quickly just place the sign. Oh god. Um, how do we do this then? Just a building block there. I think it was this block, right? Make sure we get our air back. I'm trying to work out how we can fix this without... Ah, stuff it, we'll just do that. Oh no. Not what we wanted. <laughs> oh god. There we go. Alright, we can deal with these guys easily, that's fine. Alright, now we can just place this torch back and we can get onto the next task, which is I'm working out which blocks I need to destroy. So that. Alright, let's change this to the uh, silk touch just in case we mess up. Oh, yeah, you don't want to be here, mate. That's another one. Did I do that right or did I place that wrong? Can't tell. No, it's there. Cool. Alright, now let's just block that up. And theoretically, the idea then is that should be far slipperier. Which means they should just slide down and straight up. But I'm hoping. Do they have a chance to fight? I can't tell. A bunch of them are going to die on impact as well because I did punch a lot of them. But hopefully. It looks like it's working, although the spawn seems to be stopping, which I'm a little bit confused about. Um, I haven't seen it spawn lately. What's going on there? Is there a... There must be caves on unlit or something because spawn right here is very low. Okay. Let's see. What I'm going to do is just quickly sit here for a little bit and see if it gets stuck. And if it does, then I'll come back and show you guys. If not, um, I'm probably going to go. I did show you guys the uh, skeleton spawner down here. And I'll probably go set that up. And then we'll get on to the next part of the video because I do want to get some villagers down to this, you know, over to our base somewhere so I can start getting some mending books. So we'll get on to that in a little bit. Yeah. Alrighty. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Alrighty. So a bit of a change of plan into what I was going to do in between. Um, I... I think it's been probably three days since I recorded the last part, but as you can see, I now have a water elevator and a little water chute. This takes us down to the uh, zombie mob spawner. I didn't get onto the uh, skeleton one yet because I spent probably two hours or so tidying this up as well as um, doing a few other things around the world. Uh, I was just busy over the weekend, so I didn't get a chance to record a lot of the stuff. Um, but now that we are back, I expanded this out to hopefully uh, facilitate adding in our villages that we're about to go get. Um, hopefully it doesn't take too long, but it is 600 blocks. And I don't really have enough. What's that? That's yeah, nowhere near enough rails to get us there. So hopefully... I can bring over these villagers and yeah, at least start the process. Um, 
I think I was showing you, yeah, I've shown you guys water elevator in the mob spawner, so that's that. And then there's just a water chute to jump down, and it takes us out just below here. Just below our house, I did a little bit of tidying up here to make it a walkway. Um, I don't think I did any tidying up here either. It was mainly just mining out that area, uh, finding caves. I know there's a cave that I found that I had to uh, torch out because, well, light up's the word, uh, because it was causing mobs to spawn there rather than now in a mob spawner. Um, but now we're level 33, so... Hopefully we can get a good enchantment for our sword, although it is not living too long. Yeah, grind that. Knock back. Made of arthropods. We're not getting lucky right now with our sword. Um, I think in between episodes, uh, in between recordings, I did get a powerful infinity bow. Um, I don't believe I had that last time. Um, but now on to our next issue. I believe it's 600 blocks away for our mob spawn, uh, for our, um, first village. So we did find a few villages over the time, but yeah, for our village that we're going to be taking villages from, it is not close. Uh, so I guess we better just start trying to bring over as many people as I can. I do have three mine carts, hopefully that's enough. But what I'm going to do also is just bring like a stack of iron and um, the other thing I need. So I need iron for sure. Let's get rid of these ores, which as you can see, there has been a lot of mining. So that, a lot of this was found while I was exploring, but yeah, so four more diamonds, which should bring our total, yeah, to somewhere to close to the 30 mark. Oh, and then there's eight there as well, so well over the 30 mark. A bunch of emeralds, a bunch of iron, a bunch of gold. Um, so we should be, you know, getting better set up. I've also added another chest because we ran out of space. And I now have the issue of... My pickaxes are not looking too great, especially this diamond one with silk touch. I don't want to lose that because they are not uh, easy to get back. Just quickly cleaning this up as I talk. But what we're going to do here yeah, is just, I think powered rails is the best option. Although, how much coal do we have? We could probably, yeah, we can probably just make furnace. Uh, they're still a thing, right? Hopefully. There they are. Hmm. Nah. We're gonna we'll bring the cobble with us. Somehow I don't have a full stack. That's weird. Uh, we'll do that, and then we've got a crafting table with us. We've got a bed with us. We've got coal. All right, I think we should be okay for now, and we're just going to start bringing over as many villages as possible. It's not going to be just... A quick process, I don't think, so there'll be a few cuts and stuff like that, but first of all, I'm going to go travel over to this village, and I'll see you guys there. Alrighty, okay, so we've just arrived at the village, literally just walked in. Um, wasn't as far as I remember, so that's that's a nice sign. Uh, hopefully, it not take us too long then. Um... Let's just quickly work out where all these villages are. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. Okay, there's a lot of villages. Just a good sign. Uh, we don't want the nitwit because he is literally useless. What we maybe should do? What? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I see six villages here right now, which is certainly enough. A good start. Um, what we're gonna try and do is get all of these guys except for the nitwit. So I don't think the nitwit can trade. Let me just quickly check that. Trading nit, not mitwit. Trading and no, I don't believe they can unless you cheat, which that's not gonna be the thing that I want to do. So what we're now going to have to do is just make, uh, 
one, two, let's just say like that many. And slowly, I think we'll start here. We'll just have to work our way through all this. This is not going to be a quick process by any means. And we're just going to try and pick them up and get them into these locations. In this case, like... Oh, it is getting to night time, so they are going to jump back into bed, aren't they? Yes, yes they are. So I'll quickly just sleep. Um... I can sleep. It looks like this, yeah, it's not going to be a flippin' easy option. I don't really know what my next best option is. Hey, that's my bed. Well, they weren't saying that, though. Just, just jump in, mate. Got it. No, no mind. All right, now I can sleep. Maybe boats are a better option. They're going to be slow. Um, oh, that's one. That's a good start. Okay. So now we just have to somehow collect all these guys up. So like this, this. Come on, please. Probably would have been easier if I just blocked them in their house at night. Come on. Get in. I don't really know how to get them in. Other than just doing this. Um. We got one. That's a good start, I guess. <laughs> this boat's gonna be the best option. Let me bear it back and see what I can do. I have to work out an idea. Alright, so what I've decided to do is I've now got my shovel out and what we're going to do is get boats. I believe it's going to be far easier to boat them across to near our house and then work our way from there because looking at this, this is all water. I, I do have wood but I should have just made a boat and had a look. Because this is a swamp biome which I'm pretty sure is right next to our house. So... Because right next to our house is a swamp biome as well. So I think what we're going to have to do is individually transport them to like a caged facility, I guess. Um, and then we can start from there. The only problem I'm going to have is possibly pillagers and possibly uh, zombies at night. But the nice thing is we're right next to water. And so is this village. So hopefully we can transport them quite easily. I just need to make some beds and give this a shot. Um, which I do have a few uh, chances to do, but I now have a lot of minecarts. <laughs> Should have probably tested this more than just like once. Because this is how I did it on a server that I used to play. I only needed one boat as well. Nice, go me. She can obviously ride one boat. So let's get rid of all this. Get rid of that as well. Can I break this out? <laughs> that scared me, but it's just a golem. Alright. Put all this back for now. That'll be used later. But for now, let's get a boat and find a villager we can use. This guy's a Fletcher, right? That's what's going on in here? Yeah, it is. Okay. It kept 
freaking me out thinking something was getting hurt or there was like an art uh, skeleton in there. Okay. Can we... Oh, we might be able to easily get this done. I don't have a piston either, so going uphill is going to be a struggle. Because uh, apparently you can piston things and go uphill. Yes. Downhill is easy though. Right, once we get into this water, we're good. Oh, that's not good. All right, we're in the water. So now hopefully we can just traverse this little river and get back to our base. I don't know. That was the next stage of this process, but now that we have a villager with us, we at least can start the process. Because all I really need right now is a mending book. If I can get a mending book, then, you know. Hopefully this takes me a little while to go. Let me just quickly... Mine our way through. I didn't bring my bed with me either, so hopefully it doesn't hit night time before we get there. Okay. We're making this yucky water, but we can still push through. Cool. Right, and I seem to have gone through here with a boat before because there's lily pads everywhere. It's another great sign. Maybe when I was looking for a village, I think, last episode. Or was the episode before? Um, but yeah, but certainly when we're looking for things, we did find a village at one point. I mean, I've, we went through swamp. I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty sure our village, well, our house is just around this corner. Because I got confused last time when our house is missing, but it's through here instead. Because, yeah, this is the mountain beginning here. Cool. All right, now we need to now... <laughs> the next step is working out how to get these guys down. Which might just become a little water tunnel. Could be quite an easy option. It's about to hit night time, isn't it? No. What we might do then? It's just. We want it. No, we only want it too wide, I think. Little containment facility. Oh, forgot that this pickaxe is really fast. I think there's also a bug in my game that it sometimes double breaks, which I'm loving, but it's great. Let's turn this around. No. Okay, cool. That was not a good sign. Did not want to try and kill him at all. Alright, so the next step is getting them into a, getting them down below, near our mob spawner. So that's where I want to try and put our villagers. 
quickly sleep and I will jump back here in a moment. Alrighty, I'm back. I just had to get a screenshot of where I was trying to go. Um, so now what I can probably do is just break this. Hopefully, yeah. Huh. To push All right, so now we need to go down quite a distance. I need to also remember to make this tall. Otherwise, we will make sure we'll make everything hit our heads, and we really don't want to kill these villagers before they get down. So yeah, we just need to really get down to, I think, it's Y level 39, I took a screenshot just before I came back. I bring torches, yeah, dude, cool. I'm gonna do this. And are we back once we do get down to 39? Alrighty, so if I have done this correctly, we can just go we further. Don't want to get too much momentum. Do that and what would this do? Make this a two block drop. Make sure this is well lit up. So just like this. This would just be a miniature, like, holding cell, if you will. Not the correct word, but, yeah. Sorry, let's just quickly break the boat. And... Place that block there. Alright, so, they, he shouldn't despawn, which is a good sign. Um, and he is now in the position that we can, um... Move him around. He's safe there. Shouldn't be any issues with. Uh, the only issue I can see is mobs getting down in here. Which, yes, is a real issue. Uh, ooh, what we can do is when we don't want anything in, let's do that. That's our little door that will break each time. And we can break this. And now let's jump in back in our boat and go back there and pick up the rest of them. And I'll try and bring over as many as possible um, to be able to start our village in our base. So bear back. Alrighty, uh, so I've moved over a bunch of the villagers now. Um, they are now back at base in the little, I guess, cavern I've made for them um, to start preparing for our um, like enchantment village trading system. Um, but I think for today's episode, we're all out of time. Uh, so next episode, we will start making the... Um, trading system and we will hopefully get mending books to make all our gear pretty much unbreakable um and then obviously unbreaking and all the other cool enchantments we do want on our weapons tools armor everything like that um and then we might do some decoration of the mob spawner area uh depending on what blocks we have uh, as you can see the nitwit is still here for a good reason because we do not want him he doesn't trade if he's just got a job um there is some villagers here. I'm hoping that if I leave some of them, they might breed again and we might get some more villagers back. Um, it's kind of my plan. So we'll just have to see how that goes. Um, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please hit that like button. If you do want to watch any more of my content, do check out the playlist that this video is currently in or check out my channel. There's a few other videos on here. Um, hope you guys did enjoy and I hope to see you guys next time. Uh, if you did make it this far, say... Um, villagers there we go i'm very curious um i love doing this because it's good to see where people end up uh so i hope you guys do enjoy and i hope to see you guys next time peace